Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. Do 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 Hey Internet, welcome to Why Am I Watching This? My name is Kyle Mustaine. This week's movie is Hunger Point, starring Barbara Hershey from Beaches and Hannah and Her Sisters, John Getz from the Coen Brothers' first film, Blood Simple, as well as the classic Jim Belushi film, Curly Sue. But the reason I'm watching this, and I could not pass up watching this movie, was that it stars Christina Hendricks from Drive. Well, you probably know her best as Joan from Mad Men. The story focuses on the relationship between Franny and Shelley Hunter, two sisters who grew up with a controlling mother who wanted her daughters to be skinny. Mom, where does all the fat go when we lose it? <laughs> Mom, where does it go? Someone should tell this girl the truth. You shit it out. The first act plays with the irony that even though Franny was the one who had a weight problem growing up, it's Shelly who develops anorexia nervosa. Her problem gets so severe that she has to be hospitalized. Shelly's severely depressed. In order to deal with that depression, we must first stabilize her eating and her weight. The movie gradually reveals to us that Franny is a little out of touch with reality herself. She's depressed and delusional. I have to tell you something. You have the most intriguing mouth. She imagines flirtations with Shelley's doctor. Dr. Thompson returning. Oh, Dr. Thompson. Brian, it's Franny Hunter. Thanks for calling back. Who? She also imagines that her mother is having an affair. The deli man, Daniel, will be your next prey. Daniel, don't be ridiculous. He's married and so am I. Right, like that matters. And then she goes on a job interview and thinks she totally aced it when she actually bombed it. Then she's jealous of Shelley's anorexia nervosa because her recovery gets everyone's attention. Barbara Hershey plays the controlling mother, Marsha. You may remember she had a very similar role in Black Swan. Here she is with a very unflattering Prince Valiant haircut. Look at the way she is portioning out her salad. Just eat the goddamn salad. You need it to live and it will make you feel good. I'm just Is it good? Franny always feels guilty after she eats. I just go hit the gym. Well then have some more fried rice. I really gotta go. While watching this movie, I had a little light bulb go off. I started theorizing that maybe anorexia nervosa is a purely capitalist phenomenon. And then I looked it up, and as it turns out, I was fucking right. It is endemic of capitalism. Um, in non-Western cultures, it is practically non-existent. Within Western culture, it is predominantly found in middle and upper classes. Predominantly with women. White women. Now, you can treat anorexia nervosa all you want, 
but I'm always going to be wondering how fucking peculiar is it that within our capitalist societies, we have women who are starving themselves to obtain something that is completely unattainable. But that's just me. Food is in almost every scene in this movie. Modern civilization has this complex relationship with food that just does not need to be that way. As living organisms, we are dependent upon eating. It should be this joyous, wonderful thing that we should be happy that we get to do. A good meal can be euphoric. And yet these women, when a plate of food is placed in front of them, they have a life or death decision to make. This movie steers clear of the media's influence on women's bodies and eating habits. It's almost completely absent from the movie. Instead, it makes an unambiguous, direct correlation between the mother's insistence that her girls be thin and their eventual eating disorders. So, by taking the media out of the equation, this movie argues that eating disorders, anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa, body dysmorphia, come about as a result of how women treat each other. You want the boys to like you, don't you? No. Oh, come on, we're a team. First one to lose 10 pounds gets a new bathing suit. Come on. Come on. You're dieting. Feel better? Ice cream? <laughs> Franny, your father and I have been married 27 years. What's also fascinating is the inclusion of Franny and Shelley's grandfather into the story. Franny is constantly visiting him or volunteering at his nursing home. The elderly are portrayed as wise, which could easily be written off as cliché. But let's stop and think about that for a minute. Why would an old person be wise? Simply because they exist. That they are still around is indicative that they have the skills to survive. And I'm willing to bet that a key to that is by not making their lives too complicated. What's wrong with him? Nothing. Then what are you doing over here? You're absolutely right. I.E. like not developing eating disorders. I.E. like not putting a lot of undue stress on their outward appearances. Anyway, that's all I got. Let's all go eat a big meal now. Do do do. Do do do. Do 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 do